Hey everybody, this is Locks with Myro Electric, and I am returning with the KWC here, 1911. Um, I have yet to shoot this gun. Uh, as you guys know, I'm going to be doing some modding to it, but before I do anything, I want to actually make sure that this gun works okay. So I figured I'd go ahead and document my first shooting of it here. I went out and got a, uh, a target board, and before I did that, I actually didn't know such things existed, so I tried to manufacture my own <laughs> ridiculous... Um, target board that's uh, Amanda's very fine um, artwork on there so who knows maybe I'll try that out at some point but look at this ridiculous target I, I found at Walmart for I think it was nine or ten dollars uh, note black ops on there no uh, licensing information just black ops and you got a zombie and I guess the way this targets supposed to work like a lot of airsoft targets um, is it's got some kind of sticky surface that the uh, BB will uh, stick to and then just slide down into some kind of tray. So I'm going to try that out, but i got to find a place where I can shoot this thing. I don't want to shoot it outside because I'm afraid my neighbors will call the cops. So I'm going to have to shoot it somewhere in here, and I'm thinking either the laundry room or workout room. Uh, I've been trying to familiarize myself with this gun a little bit, and uh, I feel... I don't think I'm really going to know what's going on with it until I'm shooting it, but, you know, just like playing around with it. I ended up, I think someone was saying to cock it like that and hold this lever down because I guess that there's some some wear and tear that will happen on, on this little switch here or this notch where it comes back on. And so I guess that's just kind of best practice. So I've been trying to do that, get used to that uh, clip release, and I haven't loaded it yet. Um, there's a 1911... Um, a tank folio version which is looks identical to this gun but I guess it's quite a bit different um, because it, it's it's not airsoft I think it's a steel BBs only and uh, it may load differently than this one I don't even know how to load this so I'm gonna have to go to my documentation for that okay I got my documentation here so I'm gonna do my first uh, loading of this uh, this gun and I'm just going to go ahead and put on my protective eyewear here because uh, I feel I might be prone to shooting myself in the face. I got some bundled BBs with my gun here, 6mm plastic rounds. Oh my god. I only actually want to load about five of these at a time so I can keep track of how much I'm shooting. Uno, dos. And I got two in there right now. Just inserting them in this little hole. What kind of, oh shit, I don't know if I'm supposed to insert it through the front there or through the top. Seems like that works pretty good. And look, I've already lost count because I'm fucking babbling here. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's five. I think that this clip's supposed to hold 17. Don't quote me on that. Not sure how far out that needs to unscrew. I guess just enough to make room in the bay there. That looks good. From the sounds of things, this is supposed to start, um hissing and then I want to try and screw it tightly oh shit there's hissing I think fuck me Oof, fucking fly get it the fuck out of here let's just do that fuck it okay I'm very scared this is a loaded loaded weapon I just put the gun in safety there it's litchity latchety I'm very sweaty and very nervous and a BB just fell out of the fucking gun all right I'm just gonna let this uh Hang out there, cocked and loaded and very dangerous. And I'm going to ready my little dartboard. Here's my $10 target from Walmart. It's supposed to be all sticky or something. Look at the zombie, guys. Here, let's do a BB test. Here it is. Here's the BB, and it goes boink. And it sticks on the little zombie. That's a pretty good shot, actually. There's a target in there. You can't see it too well, though, right from this here angle. It's gonna do a quick test. Oh my god, it scared the fucking shit out of me. Okay, so first fire test, A okay, I guess, although it scared the absolute shit out of me. I know you guys didn't see it, but I kind of wanted to hurry up and rush through it while that damn thing was loaded, and I've since put away cats and locked the door so like Amanda doesn't come home and get shot in the friggin' face. Okay, so here we are. Let's try this again. Ha! 
Hey, those are some pretty good shots there. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Let's have a couple other goes here. Alright, this time I'm going to go for zombie headshots. It's kind of close to the top, so it might be kind of hard. Oh, shit. Definitely heard a ricochet there. All of those went high. I'm going to shoot it again. This time I'm going to get a profile shot for you guys. There's one that ricocheted straight back at me. Alright, this will be the last clip. I swear this time. Zoom this in a little bit. Okay, well, first firing session went good, so I know if I put this back together and it doesn't fire right, then uh, I've truly screwed something up. So I guess now I can tell you what I'm planning on doing with this gun. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to replace the grips. That's probably the easiest, or at least I'm hoping will be the easiest mod. Uh, remember, I'm trying to make this look like the, uh, the Colt from Return to Castle Wolfenstein, which was a Colt that was trying to look like the World War II Colt. Um, as far as being era-specific, um, era I think that this one might be a more accurate model. The, uh, the Colts in Return to Castle Wolfenstein had these, uh, these diamond marks on them, so I, I want these grips to go on in place of the plastic ones that are currently on there. Plus, these look, uh, look pretty schnazzy. Uh, so what I'm going to end up doing first is taking the gun apart. I'm going to watch some uh, YouTube tutorials on that. Um, I'm going to strip the paint off here so all this logo stuff is going to be gone. I was really hoping when I got this in the mail that these were engraved on here and I was going to place my own custom logos in different spots. But uh, I went ahead and reworked um, what I had planned for the engraving since I can use all of the space now on, uh, on each side. And uh, I'll show you a graphic of what I have planned for that. And hopefully I can do... Uh, everything that I want to, but there may be some limitations. I don't know. I'll I'll be made aware of that when I actually go to the engraving place, whatever that may be. So uh, so I got the grips. I'm going to strip uh, the paint off, do the engraving, and uh, probably polish it up a bit. Um, but I may actually go with kind of a, a more rustic look um, for this uh, for this Colt. Um, something that uh, makes it kind of look like it's an actual aged um, Colt from World War II. So, uh, so we'll see. Um, I'm not quite sure which direction I'm going to go on that yet. Um, yeah, so apparently Amanda came home and uh, she's going to be shooting with me now. What do you have to say about that, Amanda? Hi. Could you come here into the picture here? I want people to see your mustard stained yeah. t-shirt. You look great. No, I don't. You're so sexy. No. You ready to shoot shit? Yes. All right, let's shoot shit. Justin is putting five rounds into the gun. Okay. I feel like a real idiot. She's getting ready to fire the weapon. <laughs> what? Yep, oh God, it's going to fire. Now, like, really brace yourself here. Holy shit. Oh God, scared the fucking shit out of me. It was like a big dusty, powdery mess that came from it when you shot. Oh God. Oh my God! You hit the fucking tray. Are you looking at where you're shooting? <laughs> you hit the fucking tray. BBs went everywhere. No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> She's the experienced shooter. You shot the fucking tray. <laughs> We can go to the replay. We have that capacity. We can just go ahead and rewind it, and we'll see brr, what I saw. Everything flying out of the fucking tray. Oh, my God. It really does have a kick to it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's punchy, isn't it? It's not realistic, yeah. She says it. Again? Huh? Uh, yeah, we can do it again. Um, go ahead and tell the people what you thought about that first firing there. You can go ahead oh, and give this to me. Well, I've, shot many, I've shot many handguns. I've probably shot all manner of Colt and Glock and... I believe I've shot a Derringer as well. Those are the little bitty ones. I fired guns before, so it doesn't bother me. It's just BBs. But it does kick. It does actually feel pretty realistic. Like it kicks. May I say something? Yeah. It certainly bothers me. Hey, you gotta start somewhere. I don't want you to ricochet and hit a fucking TV. Just try and keep it on the board, you know? God damn, I like fear for my eyes. It's like, oh God. 
Oh, those are right next to each other. Okay. Yeah, you got a nice cluster going. Oh, right in the balls. That one is low. Is that it? Hey, baby, it's still going. It's still going. No, there's not five. The chamber would be back if it's... Yep. Yeah, it's going to just stay totally kicked back when it's, when it's done. Now it's done. See it? See the, what it looks like? Whew. Let's see your handiwork here. You're a center mass kind of a gal, aren't you? And it's good. I'm actually a really good shot, by the way. Yeah, it looks like it. it. Looks like you're pretty good. I mean, other than hitting the tray, you know, but that that happens. I didn't hit the tray. Could have been a fluctuation in the uh, CO2 pressure there. Well, is that going to conclude our shooting session? You want to do it again? She wants to do it again. Do you want to load it and do that sort of thing this time? Yeah. Okay. She's making a mess. She dropped a BB. She shot a BB across the room from the spring. She's shooting them from the clip now. Yeah, I'm not sure how much recording time I have here, so you might want to expedite the loading. Um, boy, wow, you make me nervous with that. Okay. Okay, looks like you did that. Yep, she loaded it. She's going to shoot it now. That looked like it hit him in the lower nipple. That was right in the center of his chest. I don't know where the fuck that went. Right shoulder. Right next to the other one on the lower nipple. Right shoulder again. Uh, looks like she's spelling V for vendetta on the zombie's chest. I feel a lot more comfortable when that gun is not in a cocked position and the clip is removed for it, from it. That's just me, though. You know. Yep, the clip. Yep, that needs to come out. Oh, my Jesus Christ. So are you, are you contented now? You did all the firing you need to do? Yeah, no, I want to go shoot my gun. <laughs> she wants to shoot a real firearm now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's cool. I don't think I've quite graduated to that yet. I have never fired a... I want to see you shoot it. You want to see me shoot it? Yes, All right, I'm going to shoot it, guys. This is so entertaining for me. <laughs> Here's Justly Justin. I think you're just shooting blanks. No? Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, nice. I didn't actually want to go for the stomach like Amanda was saying. I, I kind of wanted to outline his, uh, oh, hi, Mike. I kind of wanted to outline his shirt there, so I was just kind of tracing around that a little bit. Can I put this mic down? I feel really stupid. <laughs> okay, so are we concluding this then? That's it? We're all done? Then? Are you, you're happy? You're contented? You saw me shoot? Yeah. And you weren't totally disappointed? Right, you did pretty good. Yay, okay, cool. I feel, uh, feel good about myself. Yay. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Yay. Hey, kisses. Bye.